Okay, ninja martial arts. If you're new to this topic and you've just come and you've just seen this video and you've clicked on it, I'm going to tell you exactly what type of martial arts the ninja used. If you're one of my followers and you're thinking, hold on, we all know this, I'm going to go into a bit more depth. So this video is going to be about ninja martial arts from multiple levels. So here we go. <laughs> Just before we get into it, I've got a new book out called The Book of Bushido, The Complete Guide to Samurai Chivalry. Get yourself a copy. For those new to this channel, basically, in the 1960s, 1970s, uh, it was brought out that there was a ninja martial art. A martial art specifically done by the ninja. But it turns out this is historically incorrect. And even people within that community now, now agree and understand there wasn't anything specific just for the ninja. In fact, the ninja did samurai martial arts. That's pretty much what they did. But the ninja were commando spies that went behind enemy lines. So then the question becomes, if there isn't a specific ninja martial art, what, did, what martial arts did ninjas do? Well, actually, they did the same as other samurai. There's kenjutsu, which is swordsmanship. There's sojutsu, which is spearsmanship. There's yumi, which is firing a bow. There's... um. Kumiuchi, which is grappling and striking, those types of arts which were done across Japan, which were not all the same, they had different styles of it though, were actually done by the people who also were acting as ninja. So we don't have a specific ninja martial art, but we have martial arts that were practiced by the ninja. Now we have to be very clear, the term martial arts is an English term, from Latin, meaning arts of Mars, and it's spelt this way, martial, and not the other way, which is martial, which is also someone who deals with warrior type things, but they martial things, so be careful there. Um, however, what we have to remember, and I know it sounds ridiculous to say, but martial arts was never a term used in Japan. They used a term called bujutsu. Now, bujutsu means like warrior skills, and it could be that it that it goes more towards other skills outside of hand-to-hand -hand combat. But what we mean here in this video is that martial arts are hand-to-hand -hand combat, either unarmed or armed with weapons. It is not the strategy and tactics. It is the physical hand-to-hand -hand combat, the killing or defeat of another human using body mechanics, martial science and the, the martial skills of fighting okay we've got to make sure that's clear here in Japanese it's bujutsu but there are many names for martial arts because each martial art goes into different forms like I've said sojutsu for spears um, kenjutsu for swords shuriken jutsu for throwing bladed weapons yeah you also get um, yawarate which is soft forms of hand combat Kumi Uchi, which is striking and grappling. So when we say martial arts here, we are covering a vast topic. And it is specifically meaning all of these skills of hand-to-hand -hand combat, but not the, the strategies, tactics, military aspects, such as marching methods, gunner, guns, you know, like artillery, uh, castle defences, castle storage, all those come under the modern, the modern English term, martial arts, because it's martial. However, when we say martial arts to the world, 99.99999% of people are thinking of boxing, fighting, karate, Aikido, that. So when we say ninja martial arts, people are thinking, okay, this is what the ninjas did specifically to them, not what are ninjas doing alongside other people? But we'll get to that. Now, the term Mars is a Latin term and it denotes it's the opposite of um, basically or martial in, in English, but it derives from Latin and it's the opposite of civil. So martial law, civil law. Yeah, there's the way of the army, the way of the military, the way of war and the civil way of democracy and everything else. So it is as a term in English. It dates back to the 1500s. However, martial arts as a combined term to mean hand-to-hand -hand combat does not appear till 1909. 
I'm using the online etymology dictionary. Etymology means basically the origin of words. And it says that martial arts, which used to be martial sciences, but they changed it to martial arts when they looked at the translation of bujutsu, skills, arts of warrior. Yeah, so it, they were like, okay, Japan, when they spoke to the translators, it was like, yes, this is bujutsu. We do bujutsu. Ah, there are many types of bujutsu. Okay, bujutsu, let's get the kanji, martial arts. Okay, and they, in 1909, they coined martial arts. So the word martial arts is coined well after the ninja existed in another country. Since my campaign, since about 2008, to, a, to now, uh, I have changed the minds of pretty much everyone that there is no specific ninja martial art that is was created by, used by the ninja. Now, there are very few people on, on, in the martial arts and ninja community who still sort of go to the, oh, ninja martial arts. And I'm specifically referring to inside the ninja community. People are well aware now that that, that notion has gone and there's a new thing for martial arts. But this is where the crux has come. So channels, multiple channels, not just one, lots of channels have started saying ninja martial arts. And I'm like, hold on a minute. We've already said there's no ninja martial arts. And at first they said, well, martial arts has a broader term. So we mean, you know, or basically any of the military sciences such as siege warfare, etc. So therefore ninja martial arts has that in it, siege warfare infiltration. So it's a martial art. So therefore I teach martial arts. But it took me a couple of years, but I got rid of that as well. Let's get rid of that. So the newest one to come out is that because the ninja did Kenjutsu and Shurikenjutsu, if you like, and um, Yumi and Kumiuchi, these are all martial arts that are just inside of Japan at the time the ninja existed, that because the ninja did them, they must be ninja martial arts. Now, this is a trick of language. So martial arts used by the ninja are, so the full sentence should be, martial arts used by the ninja are the same as the samurai, and they include sword fighting, spearsmanship, archery, um, grappling, etc. But the way it's being presented is that ninja martial arts then showing you swordsmanship and saying well the ninja used them so it must be ninja martial arts now this is not incorrect they are true ninja martial arts are the martial arts used by the ninja which are the same martial arts as everyone else however the 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 inflection the inference is that actually they're specific to the ninja so if you don't explain and say ninja martial arts are the same as everybody else's martial arts but the ninja used them and therefore you're, you're tricking the audience is what is, is my problem at the moment. So, guys, I'd like your opinion on that. So am I right or wrong? Now, I want everybody's opinion and it can be for or against. I want the genuine truth. When somebody says ninja martial arts, but fails to then follow up and say, ah, the same as all other martial arts, everybody uses them. Is that an OK thing to do? A bad thing to do? What do you think? Um, is it... Is it good because we can get everybody into the community then later explain them? This is just some ideas I've been throwing around with some different people to see where we should go in our ninja research section. So let's reach back now into the Sengoku period. Yeah, the Sengoku period. One thing that a lot of people don't know is that both samurai were not the only ones to use two swords. Anybody could use two swords in the Sengoku period, right up until the very end. And in fact, there are Western accounts of how the farmers, the farmers, are aggressively angry that Hideyoshi has stopped them from wearing two swords. And they are miffed. So, let's put this in context. The farmers make up about 60, 70, 80 percent of the population. You know, they are the backbone of the population. The samurai of five, six, seven, eight, up to 10 percent, depending on where the, the farmer samurai cross comes in with the Ashigaru, depending on what time you're in. And that you can say about 90 percent of the people in Japan are walking around with a weapon on them in the Sengoku period. Now, if you're new to this channel, Sengoku period means the time when all the samurai were fighting. So this idea that the peasants were walking around in the fields unarmed and the samurai were all armed is, is a later thing. The peasants were fighting. So let's just, so let's imagine I'm a samurai and I'm going to use this sword to do the sword stance in no karai. This is from the school Shinkagiryu, yeah? In no karai, right? And I'm going to fight. And from here, I need to, I need to come out and cut, yeah? Bang! Now, what if I'm a farmer? So I'm a farmer and I'm here and I'm going to cut down. Boom. But what if I'm a samurai? I'm here, I'm going to cut down. 
Then what if I'm actually a butcher by trade and I own a sword because anybody's allowed to own a sword <laughs> or a baker or a candlestick maker. They actually don't do so much of that in Japan, but you get the point. So you've got this idea that actually it doesn't matter who you are. I'm a samurai. I'm a ninja. I'm a shinobi. I've learned from the same school and the, the Kage school, which goes into Shinkage Ryu. But basically all I'm saying is you can pick any school that existed in the late Sengoku or in the Sengoku period. And you can put a ninja in the place, you can put a butcher in the place, you can put an ashigaru. You even have side servants who have a katana. And they go, right, I've learned this from my master, I've learned this somewhere. I'm going to go in no karai and I'm going to strike. How can we say that's ninja martial arts? Which is the new thing that is being said. Because a ninja did this, it must be a ninja martial art. When in truth it's martial arts performed by the ninja were also performed by everyone else in the army. The general, the Taisho, the Shogun himself, if the Shogun's got to fight and he suddenly goes into a stance or he goes up into Jodan, he's got to fight, whack, and he's got to do it. But you could be like, so hold on, there's a ninja fighting there and the Shogun's fighting there and they're both from the same school because the ninja is probably a samurai or a, an Ashigaru, but he's probably a samurai and the Shogun's a samurai and they're on the same side. They've been learning similar techniques. They might have had the same teaching. They might even have the same teacher. Do you know what I mean? Because the Shogun's not as high as you think in the Sengoku period. The Shogun, well, it is. But basically, earlier on in Japanese history, the Shogun can be just the leader of one military force going out. So you become the Shogun of that force. The idea of the Shogun becomes the leader of Japan is a later idea. But my point being is, someone high-ranking and someone mid-ranking like a ninja can be doing exactly the same thing, yeah? And you couldn't say that's a ninja martial art and that's a shogun martial art. That would be crazy to say. Yet, if we, if you don't explain that to everyone and say, this is ninja martial arts, and they say, is it? And you say, well, ninjas did this. Oh, okay, ninja martial art. And then they go away with that idea. So this becomes a problem. So let's turn it to Japanese now. So martial art is an English word. And then you put in the English structure, the sentence, this is ninja martial arts. Oh, the ninja only did it. No, no. This is ninja mar you this is the martial arts used by the ninja. Oh, so the ninja only used this one or other people? Ah, this is the martial arts used by the ninja, but it's also used by everybody else. More correctly and historically accurate would be each clan has its own type of martial art. And wherever you were brought up is probably going to influence how you use your sword. However, most of them are similar because they're produced in the same warring environment and families are intermixing and there's mixture like that. So yes, we have this little admixture here of lots of different things, but they all similarly look the same. So um, what we've got to do here is in Japanese, bujutsu means martial arts, but of course terms change. The second and main thing you should take from this video is the fact that actually um, what we're trying to say is Ninja, mar the ninja did do martial arts, but there isn't a ninja martial arts. So just be careful when you're watching videos or reading books or you're reading online and it says ninja martial arts. You have to remember it's just the same martial arts as everyone else. And that's it. So I hope that clears up the um, the idea of the ninja martial arts and that the way it's going at the minute. My dream is to have everyone not even debate or discuss that and it literally be a case of I want everyone in 10 years, 20 years to be dressed in kimono, to be dressed in hakama, to wear two swords, to have a, a fan, to have even a headband back on and have uh, one sandals on and then to be studying kenjutsu, sojutsu, um, shuriken jutsu if you want, kumiyuchi, all of these things and including that shinobi no jutsu along with gunjutsu and heiho and gunpo and all of these esoteric gunbai. You might not understand those words but they're all different sections of what the samurai and shinobi would be studying. Now each one in the each person in the army has a different job yeah. Now that different job means they focus more. So ninjas will focus more on ninjutsu yeah whereas esoteric captains will focus more on the sky and chi but they still have all got to learn how to fight with a sword or at least defend themselves or go to war that is the principal thing of a japanese warrior now of course if you're interested please get one of my newest book which is um the book of bushido and that is out now please get yourself a copy of that and if you want to learn how to bring um uh, samurai and ninja martial arts into your life you can get how to be a modern samurai i'll see you all later